Hey everybody, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Today we're planting a self-watering container with tropical shade-loving plants. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. We are in love with these new plants we're gonna show you in just a sec. We're also in love with the container that we're about to show you. We, um, we were contracted by Crescent Gardens to do some container articles for them and we've got this awesome container we're trying out that's self-watering and it's so cool. Yep. So guys, uh, we're gonna take everything and go plant it in the location we wanna actually put it in. But before we do that, before we get everything and take it over there, we're gonna introduce you to all the plants. This is our first plant. This is called an oak leaf acanthus. Take a look at this, you guys. Yep. This there is you cool. go, guys. It's a big plant. It, go, it gets to about a size of four feet by four feet. Look at this. Look yep. at these leaves. Look yep. at my hand compared to this leaf. Yep. We just love this. It's Huge. very tropical looking, but it's cool because it is zoned for zone six through 11. Mm -hmm. So we're here in zone 8B. Perfect match for us. We're so excited about it. Yep, and it's a partial sun, partial shade yeah. loving plant. Um, it, it's just a just an awesome it's looking, an awesome plant. looking I mean, plant. God, it's so ah, cool. So we, we, we just we're, we just can't say that enough. So again, so. an acanthus oak leaf or oak leaf acanthus. Mm -hmm. This is the next plant we're gonna add. You can see we have three of them, and they're so cool. They're called a heart's tongue fern. These are the leaves look tropical. This is also a partial sun, so mm -hmm. that's very cool. And it is zoned for zone eight B, yep. so that's awesome. That's nice. Yeah, yep. this pairs well with the oak leaf acanthus because yeah. it's partial sun, it's partial shade, it's zoned for here, and its watering needs are the same. They need regular yeah. watering. Um, they're beautiful though, and it gives it a different texture. There's so much difference between this I know. and the acanthus. I so. really like the texture of these leaves. Maybe we can mm -hmm. show them up close. Yeah. Look at those, you guys. Look it's just that. this cool, like crinkly look. Yeah. But kind of tropical, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we love this idea of, and I love how they unfurl in the middle. I'm sorry, I don't coming, know if you can see. Back. Look at that coming in right there. Awesome. Not cool. Yep, they call those fiddles on some ferns. I love that. Yep. So uh, the deal is, you guys, these two plants, the big acanthus and these heart's tongue fern, um, they're all ready to be planted in the ground or in a container for that matter. Mm -hmm. um, right now and they'll be okay with our overnight temps yep. but 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 our we, next one we also want to add these beautiful coleus and these are french quarter i love these beautiful you look guys see that, that? Beautiful Here, leaf. Let's, let's look at that there you aren't go. those pretty how's that yeah we saw those and we were like yep we got to add those that's perfect they're partial sun just mm -hmm. like everything else yeah these are beautiful plants you guys but they're not hardy to our area they're we're, we grow them here as annuals yeah so i mean that's that's kind of uh, how we use them, but we want to add these to this container. So we're going to have to hold these off until the daytime temps and the nighttime temps get a lot warmer. Yeah, and that'll be okay. We'll kind of start the container and get it going and then we'll just add these later. Yep, totes. We're just keeping so. these in our greenhouse for now just to kind of keep them protected. And actually, you guys, we had a third one, <laughs> but it's not looking so hot. No. So. so guys, with all this and introducing these plants, we hope you are just as interested and excited about these as we are. Now we're going to go plant them. So we're going to take everything over to where this container is going to spend a lot of its time this summer and hopefully uh, far flung future uh, over by the house. So we'll meet you over there. This is where we're going to put this True Drop self-watering yeah. container from Crescent Gardens. This is where it's going to be located. I like it over here. Yeah, so now this is our, it looks really big. It looks like a huge container with a really deep, deep pot. But this is the interesting thing. With these uh, self-watering containers, it might look like we're going to fill it with a lot of soil, but we're not. If you take a look right over here inside, you can see it's actually not that deep for the soil to go down there's a reservoir that's down below there that fills with water and this is where the self-watering part of this container comes in the water comes up it wicks up from the bottom and waters the whole container in the soil from the bottom up so guys what's going to happen is is you're gonna actually water this container about every two weeks or so depending on what you have in here and for our case it's going to be two weeks or more because it is mostly shade um, but what, what we'll do is, is we'll water it and we have a little indicator over here. Here, I can do this right here. Oh yeah, there we go. So here's the indicator. There's three cells indicating a third. Well, if all these are empty, that means the reservoir is empty. Then if one of these is full, that means a third of it's full. Another one, there's two of these full, that means two thirds. And then all of them, that means it's completely full on the reservoir. You don't need to refill it. That's cool. Yeah. Now Allison's showing you the refill area, that's a little cap, and you'll just yeah. take, what we'll do is we'll take our hose and just put it over this and refill this until this indicates that it's full. Yeah, that's super cool. When it needs it. So yeah, pretty cool, huh guys? 
You know, and you might have seen us unbox this maybe, I don't know, a couple of months ago, yep, I think it was. Yep. And we explained in that video, we, we chose this color container. There were a lot of other options. And yeah. on their website, I mean, they had like yeah. at least six different color options yeah, for this really True Drop container. But plastic. that's it exactly really what we tough, wanted. It's tough plastic, but it's terracotta looking. That's what we wanted, and that's what we're going to have more of in our garden. So we love terracotta. Fit, yeah, this is going to fit better with what we're going with later on. In our I know. Garden, so, yep. And it just it was a nice, pleasing color. Plus, with the material, like Sean just said, we can leave it outside over the winter Yo. without water in it, though. Yo. Yeah, and we'll drain it out. There's a drain hole on this, I think. It's yep, right there. there. Right yeah. there. Cool. Yep, there's a little drain plug, and we'll just... We'll just do that, it'll be fine. Okay. So next, um, there's a couple different ways to do it. What the directions say to get going on this is just fill it full of uh, soil, uh, fill the whole thing up to where we want it, and then start planting our plants and get the plants uh, planted to a depth of about one and a half inches from the top. So come down about one and a half inches from this down this way, and then um, fill the rest of the uh, pot uh, up with soil, get it situated, and then water it from the top down and, and soak in and water in all the plants. Then after that, we come over here and fill up the rest of the reservoir until it's full, and we're done. So guys, we're gonna use our watering wand to fill this guy up. Don't worry if you have one of these nozzles on here, most of them come off. So let's take that off, set that there, and then you can just fill it up with this. So we'll do this here. Just pop that on. Oh, there it is. Yeah, chances are by next year, we'll probably have to transplant all the ferns out of there and then just have just the acanthus, don't you think? Yep, pretty good chance uh, that's gonna happen. Yeah, everything uh, grows by crown, it's gonna get bigger, but right now, this is a great combination. It's gonna look beautiful, you guys saw it. And we'll show you updates uh, in later weeks oh, and months. Oh yeah, definitely. I know, I love the tropical look. We're really excited to add more tropical looking plants to our yard this year, including elephant ears and some other things. So this will be the start of kind of tropical season. Yep, yep. So yeah, guys, we hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below for us. We love hearing from you guys. And make sure to subscribe so you get our updates on our latest videos. Yeah, thank you for being here and for watching. Mm -hmm. And have a great rest of your weekend. Have everybody. a great day, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.